Ben here from Inexteriors Painters and Decorators and you're watching Inexteriors TV. In this video we're going to be painting spindles on a staircase. If you would like to purchase some of the similar tools that are used on this project please check out the links in the description below and also please feel free to check out my tool store. The links are also in the description below. With that said, let's do this! The tools and materials of choice for this task is a mini foam roller and a mini roller bucket, some 180 grit sandpaper, some black oil based eggshell, a paintbrush, a sash brush, a fix brush, some masking tape and some knotting solution. These are the spindles that we're going to be painting. I have actually been here and painted the handrail and done the um, runners on the stairs but he's since decided that he wants to change the spindles to black so I thought this would be an ideal opportunity to do a video on how to paint some spindles right these spindles are in really good condition so prep wise what I'm doing is I'm just running some 180 grit sandpaper over everything so just to key them up ready for the um, first coat of oil based eggshell I am dusting the spindles down as I go along and just to let you know we're not kicking up a massive amount of dust here we're just literally running over the 180 grit sandpaper just to key it up so we're not kicking up loads of dust at all next with my vacuum cleaner I'll get the brush bit on the end and I'll give it all a good vac down then I'll get the masking tape and tape up the carpet on a few of these spindles, if you look close enough, you can see the knots bleeding through. So what I'm going to do is just use the knotting just to seal them. They're not actually blistering to the point where they need to be um, sort of scraped back, so this should hold the knots back. What I'm doing now is I'm just feeling it out and working out exactly how I'm going to go about painting it. And then when I get to a better place where I can use better camera angles, I'll show you the system that I've come up with. I mean, I know how I want to go about um, painting it. It's just um, polishing it and coming up with the best way. Right, now I've done a bit and I can get a better camera angle, this is how I go about doing it. I start off by rolling the other sides of the spindles first. I then get my brush and stab in the tops and the bottoms and then lay it off. Then I go round to the other side and get the bits that I can't reach when I'm stretching over. If you would like to purchase some of the tools or similar tools that are used for this task, please check out the links in the description below. Next with my inch and a half paintbrush. I stab in the underneath of the hand rail. I don't have an excessive amount of paint on my brush when doing this. And with my little Fitchy artist brush, I paint anywhere where my inch and a half brush can't get into. I then stab in the bottom parts of the spindles. I do about three or four at a time. Again, I don't have an excessive amount of paint on my brush when doing this either. Then with my roller, I then roll the other three sides. Then I get my brush and lay it off with my brush. I repeat that until these three or four spindles have been done. Then I just repeat the process all over again in the next section. I repeat the exact same process on the downstairs bits of the um, spindles as well. See in these slanted bits I've realised it's better to use the roller and then stab in the bits that the roller can't get to with the brush. 
So we're always looking for better and efficient ways of getting stuff done. If you want to know how to paint a door with a foam roller, please check out the card on the top right hand corner of the screen. These sash brushes are absolutely amazing for cutting in little lips like this. If you would like to purchase some of these sash brushes, please check out the links in the description below. All we need to do now is paint this bit in and that's it, fully first coated. Right, now it's ready for its second coat, but first we need to give it a light sand down with some 180 grit sandpaper. And also, this has been left all weekend to go hard as well. I thoroughly recommend leaving it more than 24 hours, depending on the um, humidity, because it's always better to leave this eggshell to go fully dry before you sand it. You don't want to be sanding it when it's a little bit sticky. See, now we just repeat the exact same system and process of painting it. And here it is, all finished after two coats of oil-based black eggshell. And that is how to paint spindles on a staircase. If you've got anything from this video, please like, share, subscribe, Please hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of any future videos. And please feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching.